New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're going to be talking about an ultrasonic parts cleaner, specifically one that is relatively new to Harbor Freight. This is a 6 liter cleaner, so it's a little bit bigger than the previous parts cleaner that Harbor Freight used to sell. It's also built a lot better because it's built out of stainless steel. It's really built like a tank. It is relatively heavy as well. It weighs just a little bit over 11 pounds. This unit does have a built-in heater and it will heat up to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're not familiar with how ultrasonic parts cleaners work, I'm going to explain it very quickly. Basically, they send an ultrasonic sound through the liquid that goes inside the container, and that sound causes all of those water molecules or liquid molecules to cavitate, creating a bunch of little teeny tiny bubbles that you pretty much can't see. Those bubbles collect onto the surfaces of the parts, and they basically implode, and that implosion causes all the dirt and debris to loosen up on that part. In the past, ultrasonic cleaners used to be kind of expensive. They've come down a lot in the years, and Harbor Freight is selling this particular one at $169. For a heated ultrasonic parts cleaner at 6 liters, that's actually priced really well. And keep in mind, Harbor Freight is really good at sale prices and coupons, so keep your eyes peeled for a really good deal. For a cleaning solution, there are many options out there, and Harbor Freight does sell a cleaning solution for ultrasonic cleaners. All of that being said, I don't use any of the cleaners on the market, I just use Oil Eater. Now anybody that watches my channel has seen me use Oil Eater before, in fact I use it in my parts washer, mainly because it's relatively odor free and it doesn't harm your skin. It's very gentle on us humans, but it does a great job at degreasing and cleaning parts. There are carrying handles located on each side that just makes it a little bit easier to carry around. There is also a clean out port down here in the bottom. It's a ball valve and it lets you clean out all the gunk after you've cleaned your parts. The display panel on the front is very easy to use. Now there's a little bit of a flicker that my camera is picking up, but in real life there is no flicker on this display. It's very sharp and clear. Everything on the right side has to do with the temperature of the unit and everything on the left side has to do with the time. To set the temperature, you just press the temperature setting until you see the desired temperature. To turn that heating element on, you press the heating switch. The heating element is now turned on and the fluid inside this unit is starting to get warm. This side has to do with the timer and also turns on and off that ultrasonic transducer that's located in the bottom of the unit. To set the time, press the bottom button until you see the desired time and then press the cleaner switch and this will turn it on. Now these cleaners are not incredibly loud, they do make a little bit of a buzz noise and sometimes cameras make it sound louder than what it really is, but let's go ahead and turn it on so you can hear what this may sound like. So let's go ahead and stick an extremely filthy part down inside this, turn it on, and we'll come back in about 10 minutes and see how it looks. So we're gonna drop it inside just like that, and we're gonna turn it on. So we have one minute left, and I want you to take a look at how nasty the fluid is. So let's pull it out and see how well it did. And I can tell you right now, I'm pretty impressed with what I see. So this particular part is off of a tractor. It was caked with grease, dirt, and goo. And normally you would clean these up to your best of your ability before you stick them into a machine like that. But basically anything you see on top that I'm kind of flaking off here is just loose from all the goop that's floating around in the water. Now I'm just gonna take a rag and just wipe it. I'm not really putting any pressure on anything. Everything on top is very loose and we're pretty much down to the bare metal. There's a little bit of rust underneath all of this dirt and that's expected it's an old tractor part. The inside of where this hinges was caked full of everything. Dirt, goo, you name it, it was in there. And again, there's not much in there but some loose debris. Also, the hinge did not work very well. It was stiff and right now it moves very easily. The back side, we're just basically down to metal and some rust. The part is extremely clean. And again, you would normally clean these parts up as best as you can before you stick them inside an ultrasonic cleaner. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I think this thing works extremely well. It works very well. In fact, it worked better than I expected on an extremely crusty, dirty part. I'm very excited to see Harbor Freight sell a device like this that is a little bit more professional than what they used to sell. If in the future I find any problems with this device, I will put a pinned comment down below. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos, and at the very least, you might be entertained.